Hey, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be talking about how to fix faded keyboard keys. So let's get right into it. So first off, faded keyboard keys are a super common problem faced by almost everybody who uses a computer regularly. Uh, if you type a lot or you type really fast, you know, you can rub off your markings on your keyboard pretty easily. And it's pretty frustrating, especially when you're trying to uh, get something out really fast or you keep misclicking because you can't see where the markings are. So it's really important to fix these keyboard keys so that you don't waste time and you can keep up your efficiency. So keyboard keys are mostly made out of plastic. The markings of the keys include the alphabet, the numbers, and the special characters. And the background of the keys are almost always going to be in a contrasting color. So let's say you have uh, dark keyboard keys, you're usually going to have uh, white markings and vice versa. And also the pattern can vary from engraved to printed and painted keys. So there are multiple ways to fix your faded keys ranging from simple to complex tricks. In this video, we're going to talk about all the possible ways to fix a faded keyboard and the method to prevent them from fading again in the future. So first off is a print and stick method. This is the most basic trick that you have. So the pros of this is really easy to do. It's pretty uh, cheap. It allows you to have the format of your liking and you can have your favorite colored letters with any colored background. And the cons of this though, it's not the best quality and you may have to replace it sooner. So to do this, you just want to print the letters that are faded. You can, it's better to print all the letters at once so that it matches. You can do this at home if you have a printer or go to a printer shop. To print the letters yourself, you want to connect a printer to your PC or laptop, open word processor on your device and type the required letters. An Arial font with size of 22 points is appropriate for this printing. Then select the font in the background color and make sure that both of these colors are contrasting to allow better visibility of the letters. Once this is all done, take out the print. Then you want to cut your printed letters according to the size of your keys and you want the individual letter to fit the upper part of the keys. Uh, so here it says, the size of the keys is different from different letters. For example, alphabets are medium sized, whereas numbers are smaller. Moreover, enter, shift, and spacebar keys are large. Therefore, printing and cutting should fit the size of the keys. So you want to be sure that you print the correct size of the, of the marking for your keys so they can fit where you want, because obviously your letters are going to be bigger than your numbers and uh, things like shift and, con and control are different sizes than your numbers. So you want to be sure that it fits your keyboard. Then you want to put a dual side piece of tape to the printed letters. It should be equal to the size of the paper and then you want to apply this tape to the back side of the letter. Then apply the keys onto the keyboard and you can use this following image if you want to, um, if you don't remember the placings on your keyboard. And so then you're finished. It only takes five to 10 minutes to fix the keyboard. The only precaution is to apply the prints in the correct sequence and order. The drawback of using printed keys is that these prints are easily displaced once the tape loses its loses its stickiness so it might fall off you might have to do it again sooner uh, a simpler version of this fix includes handwritten markings so you want to cut a piece of paper into different parts according to the size of the keyboard keys and then write letters and a dark marker on it and then you want to tape it on there that's basically it with some sticky tack or transparent tape whatever you want um, so the tape method of printing keys is similar to the previous tip. You want to print the required letters on paper and apply a band of tape over it. Then engrave the tape using a cutter so that the tape serves as the background and the printed paper is visible as the letter. Now cut the tape and apply to the faded key. This method can be long lasting compared to the double tape method. And another easy and cheap trick is sticky letters. These sticky letters are available on the market. They can be ordered online from Amazon, things like that. Uh, they cost less than five dollars, so it's really cheap and pretty easy to follow. You want to buy, you can buy it in whatever font or uh, color you want your keys to be, and then you just take off the cover from the sticky part of the letters and put them on your keyboard. It's pretty simple, five bucks, easy fix for that. Now, if you're looking for a really permanent one, you can do this one: scratching and engraving your keys. The pros is cheap and easy and long lasting, but the cons are it takes a little bit of time, and if you're not careful, it could look pretty bad, and it lowers the value of your keyboard. Um, it's, uh, it's applicable for low cost keyboards because scratching a keycap affects its appearance. If someone is interested in selling a laptop or PC, this method should not be applied because it will lower the resale value of your device. But if it, it is a long lasting trick if it's just your personal device and you want to use that for a long time. So do th to do this, you want to gently take out your faded keycaps from your device and you want to place them separately and mark, uh, mark which one, like what letter they are so you don't get confused. Then you want to take a blade, knife, or essentially anything sharp that can cut things well and scratch the respective letter on the key bar. The engraving should be medium so that the, only, the upper surface of the key is scratched, so you don't want to go all the way through. Then you want to blow out the scratch ma material on your key and then apply some paint or paste or nail polish or melted crayons or anything to fill in that little scratch so that you can see what your keyboard uh, letter is. Then you want to let the paint dry, put the keyboard, the key back into the keyboard, and do that for all the uh, the keys that you are fixing. 
Make sure you scratch the appropriate letters and the, this repair trick is now complete and available for long-term applications. So again, good for a long-term, but uh, it takes some time. If you do it wrong, it'll look pretty bad. And if you're trying to resell your keyboard or your laptop, you don't wanna do this because it'll lower your value pretty significantly. Uh, Next is you can replace the keycaps. The pros, it's as good as new, it's the best quality you can get. And the cons is that it can be pretty expensive and some keyboards may not be, able, you might not be able to replace uh, keys like this. The hardware of almost all keyboards is designed in such a way that the keys can be taken off easily. If you use a little force to take out the keys, it will take out the keys without damaging the function. And the keycaps can be purchased separately from any tech shop at a pretty low cost. And another advantage of this trick is that you can buy the required keycaps individually. So if you're missing an A button, you can just buy an A button. You don't have to buy the entire keyboard. It's useful for those who possess a high cost keyboard and they want a standard keycap rather than using printed paper. Uh, keyboards with different patterns and styles are also available. The only precaution is to match the type of old and new keycaps to avoid any inconvenience. So you wanna make sure it fits essentially. Um, next, here's how to prevent your keys from fading after you have replaced them or uh, or fix them, or even if they haven't been faded yet, you just want to make sure. Uh, the health rule is that prevention is better than a cure. It's also applicable for non-living objects. So to prevent the key bars from fading, uh, there's better ways to do that instead of having to fix it. So this part of the video is going to be concerned with different ways to prevent erosion on your keyboard keys. So first you want to, you could get a keyboard cover. Uh, there's a great number of custom keyboard covers available on the market. They're present in different styles. They're usually made of transparent plastic, which allows visibility of the letters. And other patterns include colored plastic that has a lower sticky end and, and letters that are present on the upper end. So these covers provide good protection to your keyboard uh, from dust and spills. It also prevents the fading of letters. They serve as a protective sheet. So it's basically a phone case for your keyboard. It's pretty good like that. You can, you can always paint. The already present letters can be painted over to prevent uh, fading from frequent use. Any coloring material can be used for this purpose. Some commonly used materials include fusion paint, nail polish, inks, whiteners, and other color coloring paints. Although the painted colors don't last for long intervals, they can be painted over again with ease. Uh, next is how to prevent keys from fading. Like the next way to prevent your keys from fading is packing tape. It's the easiest and simplest of, uh, method to save the prints of your letters. The only requirement includes a packing tape and a blade. Apply the transparent tape softly to the upper part of the keys and cut the extra tape with a blade. Make sure no extra tape is present. This transparent tape will avoid the direct application of fingers on the bars and thus fading can be prevented. It also prevents the effects of spills on the keyboard. So it's it's easier than getting a keyboard cover but it essentially does the same thing. Uh, next is stickers. These can also be used to prevent fading. A great amount of keyboard stickers are available online with a small, medium, and large size font. Their style and colors are also available. These stickers easily stick to the caps of the keyboard and hide the original markings. So Essentially, it's just doing what you would do when you print out things and put it on there, except it's at, it's before your keys fade. So you just put it on there. Easy like that. Uh, next is light touch. So the last tip for prevention of the keyboard keys from fading is to avoid rough use. Keyboard keys are mostly durable for a long time, except when you use them roughly. This rough use includes many things. Striking your keyboard with some object, excessive dust, cleaning with detergent liquids, and frequent spilling of materials leads to quick fading. Therefore, you want to avoid these things. So you want to use a dry cloth for cleaning. Cover the keypad, keypad with some cloth or plastic sheet, sheet when it's not in use. You want to avoid spilling water and other things near it. So essentially, just take good care of your keyboard. Obviously, if you're watching this video, you, you probably take good care of it. But you want to be like extra careful around your keyboard if you want to keep it from, you want to keep your keys from fading. Uh, so in conclusion, I know that was a bunch to take in. Uh, so here's just a quick uh, review of what we did. So first we did how to fix faded keyboard keys. So you want to print new keys and paste them back on. Buy a pack of keyboard letter stickers, engrave the keycaps, replace the keycaps, paint over the key, or the touch wheel method, which is just being light. And then to prevent this, you want to get keyboard covers. You could use paint, packing tape, or stickers, and obviously don't be rough, kind of like how to fix them in the first place. Uh, Follow these simple steps to fix any faded keys and prevent it from happening in the future. This can considerably increase the lifespan of your keyboard so you won't have to buy a new one. And if it's your favorite keyboard, you still have your favorite keyboard. Uh, so yeah, if you want more guides and reviews, go to my website, keyboardkings.com. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope that helped.